Hi all. Over the last few weeks, I've been playing with hyperparameter optimization, specifically for machine learning models in Scikit-Learn. And I wanted to share some of what I've learned over the exploration of packages out there for helping you optimize your hyperparameters. So without further ado, let's jump into a Jupyter Notebook that I've set up to demo. So here we're going to use the package Scikit optimize and that is what this import statement is going to bring in particularly the method base search cv if you've ever used a, a grid search cv or a random search cv in scikit-learn this is a drop-in replacement it is not going to be as extensive as a grid search and it's going to be a little smarter than a random search essentially this is a technique where you sample the space of parameters provided by the user and if you find some pockets that look good, you do a finer sampling in those pockets. And so it's not searching the whole grid like an exhaustive grid search, and it's being a little smarter than that random search. It's going to sample the space and then do a finer sampling of pockets that sort of look good. So let's try this out. First of all, I'll just import everything I need. Uh, a link to this Jupyter notebook on GitHub in the description if you want to look a little closer at what I've done. I will point out that you need to be using scikit-learn version 0232 at this point. Scikit-optimize has not been upgraded to work with any versions newer than this, and I have only tested with this specific version. So we'll get those imported. Load the Ionosphere dataset. Again, if you want to know more about that, link to this GitHub and a link to uh, Jason Brownlee's GitHub. I, I love his machine learning blog, and I am using one of his example data sets here. So we'll load that data. And I have found that especially if you're using a support vector machine, you're going to want to scale your data. And the standard scaler from scikit-learn works just fine. So let's do that. And that will speed up our support vector machine training. Then we're going to set up the search space for our support vector machine. I, I am simply using the space suggested again by Jason Brownlee. I love his blog. A lot of good stuff there. Uh, you may want to change this for your own purposes, but what I'll point out is with Scikit Optimize, you can specify what kind of distribution your parameters should follow, and then it will do its intelligent sampling around that distribution. So here I have a log uniform for my uh, regularization parameter uh, and for gamma, and then for degrees, I really just want to test integers between 1 and 5. Interestingly, those will only apply to the polynomial uh, kernel for support vector machines. However, they will be searched for all of these other types, which is a bit of a waste. In a future video, I'll talk about how, how to avoid that with another package called HyperOp. But for now, we'll just set up the search space. Here I'm going to use repeated stratified k-fold cross-validation, uh, 10 folds, and three repeats for the repeated part. So we're going to do three different uh, randomizations on each fold. Next, I will set up my estimator, which here is going to be a support vector machine for classification. Uh, by default, your kernel is only allowed 200 megabytes. I tend to up that uh, just for a faster search. Here, I'm going to give it two gigabytes. My machine has 16, so this shouldn't be a problem. And because I might want to use probability-based scoring, like say negative log loss, I'm going to go ahead and set probability equals to true. So my estimator will return probabilities, not just the uh, specific classification for the output. All right, I will prepare my searcher, my optimizer. Again, if you're familiar with grid search CV or random search CV, you can just replace the name. It's Bayes Search CV, uh, assuming you've imported it, and pretty much everything will work. In reality, I would set my number of iterations at 1,000 or 10,000 and let this run over the weekend if I were doing this for a real project. Instead, just for the quickness of the video, we'll only allow 10 iterations, which means 10 searches of that space. Not nearly enough to really do anything, but this will perform in a matter of seconds instead of hours. Here we go. We'll ask it to do the search and then return what our best model is and what the corresponding score is. 
this will take a few seconds. There we go. So here we have our regularization parameter of 0.82, um, a wasted search for degree because we ended up with the radial basis function kernel, and we've got our gamma. So now I know that this is, quote, the best model, and I could train on maybe a full data set. I could make predictions, whatever I wanted. But the point is that I had a smart way of finding out my best model. I can put whatever scoring I want up here. So let's say I was really concerned that my probabilities were doing a good job, not just my final uh, classifications. In that case, I might use negative log loss. Search again. And in this case, we actually got a different kernel, uh, different gamma, different C. And here, our degree mattered. Uh, this is a little bit silly because this would essentially be a linear estimator. Again, if I were allowing much uh, more searches, I would have much better results and results that make a little more sense. But there we are. I'll link to documentations and this notebook if you want to follow along and try your own search with scikit optimize.